My channel has recently taken a new direction over the past couple of months. Apparently, there's nothing you love better than seeing your boy Con crawling around on his hands and knees underneath people's desks, doing everything he can to make them happy. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or an online store, make it happen with Squarespace. And of course, I'm referring to the transformation and setup videos. And I'm talking about cable management and other techie stuff. I didn't choose this setup life. This setup life changed me. I've been swamped with so many requests to work on different people's setups, just being pretty relentless. But my main priority right now is JJ's setup, and I've been turning offers down left, right, and center. I wanted to create something really special for JJ's house, so I'm gonna take some extra time and make that happen. So in the meantime, I thought, sorry guys, what's an international number? Yep, yep, con speaking. Look, I told you, I'm fully booked up. I'm going to LA next month to do the Beckham setup. I don't have time for this. If he wants his new setup, he's gonna have to wait. No, I'm busy, sorry. I don't care if it's Leonardo DiCaprio. You have a great day as well. Tell him to be patient. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Leo's manager. Really love his movies, though. Anyway, I thought I'd get some inspiration from Reddit and react to some good and bad setups. Also, feel free to get involved in the comments below. Let me know what you think I should get for JJ's setup. I'm in the middle of planning everything, so now is a good time to get those comments in. Yes. Okay, now. Yeah. Very creative use of a kettlebell, a flimsy old stool, and a sofa to replace the classic desk and chair combo. I mean, why not just get yourself a desk and a chair? This is definitely the setup of a man who has no control over his his TV and is forced to watch Love Island whenever he gets home from work. Now this setup is great if you want to watch eight of my videos at the same time, but apart from that, I can't really think of any other uses for it. <laughs> I don't really know how to react to this one. I'm supposed to be reacting to setups, not cupboards. Definitely serial killer vibes with this one. I feel like if you're rooting for the Joker, you've got your priorities all mixed up. You're not supposed to idolize the schizophrenic murdering clown. Also, there are 47 ha-has stenciled onto the walls. Don't judge me for counting. I personally feel like it's too many ha-has, in my humble opinion. Now we talk in. Okay, so some might class this as a tad bit claustrophobic, but I'm in love with this. I love the smart use of space. For all we know, this is what Harry Potter's little downstairs cupboard room would have looked like if he never read his Hogwarts acceptance letter. Imagine, he's just too busy collecting mechanical keyboards and getting dubs on Warzone instead. Okay, now, this is probably the most flammable setup of the whole list. It looks like the kind of desk you'd be shown to make on Art Attack. And all you need is a few cardboard boxes and some PVA glue and bam, that's your streamer setup. Now this is a great example of lighting being used to create a good mood. There's a lot of LED strips there, but it's not overpowering because they're set in a really nice mood. Great cable management too. If anybody in the comments can let me know what, um, I assume that that thing on his wall is a racing track. If anybody can let me know the significance of it, I'd love to know. I don't know why I wanna know, but I'm very curious now. Why, why did you mount a racing track on your wall? It looks very cool though. Suits the theme of your room. But I wanna know the significance of that racing track to you. Definitely get the vibe this is a Borat setup. Still not as bad as JJ's original setup though. Those chair stains. Kind of oily food you have to be eaten to be, oh. Might not be food stains. Just so much junk on the desk as well. Just declutter a little bit. For those of us who are addicted to our tech, we even have to take it on a road trip with us. Who needs that nice scenic lake and mountain rage outside of that window when there's an even better mountain rage right there on his desktop wallpaper? This one I call when you order Colin Furs on wish.com. Lighter fluid and piss jars that I see on the shelf. Blah. This looks like I've shoved a bunch of Skittles into my mouth and I've threw them all up in a room. That is overbearing, overpowering, pure sensory overload. So much going on here, it's hard to unpack. There's crystal skulls underneath the monitor to ward away evil spirits. This looks like someone's been exploring the Temple of Doom. Combination of Japanese schoolgirl and a pagan witch. That's what I call this one. That top right corner, let's get weird. The weirder thing is that little head in that glass cabinet along with a sci-fi vibrator. This one's actually fine. Just needs a little tidy up. Pro tip, you can make your setup look twice as nice if you clean up your desk and floor. Thanks for that, Con. I had no idea I could do that. My setup went from being a cluttered mess to the ultimate productivity hub. I might even build myself a website today. Squarespace makes it easy to build a professional looking website without any knowledge in coding. I built my website on Squarespace and it was such a breeze with their highly customizable templates. I also like the fact that you can set up an e-commerce shop in a few and simple steps. It allows me to share downloadable content with you guys. All of their templates are fully responsive, meaning that a mobile tablet optimized version of your site is automatically generated for users viewing your 
your site on those devices. Not only does this make your site more accessible to a wider range of users, but it can also provide some SEO benefits too. Squarespace is great for photographers, artists, designers, anyone who loves design and wants their website to look as good as their content they're showing off online. And because Squarespace has sponsored today's video, I'm able to offer a 14 day free trial and when you're ready to launch your website, use my code CONSTANTINE to get 10% off your purchase. The link's in the description, so give that a click, check it out for yourself. This setup is so clean. That's nice. That's I love that chair. I love that chair. You hear that? I love that chair. I want that one. This I've got a beautiful chair. I love it. It's very comfortable. But damn, that looks sick. This setup clearly submitted by one of the robots from iRobot. He's even used the picture of his beautiful robot girlfriend as his desktop background. <laughs> okay, no. All jokes aside, this is goals. Look how clean it is. I love the chair. It looks like it could belong in a new Tesla car. The second side monitor placement makes me feel a bit uncomfortable, but I also like it. So what does that say about me as a human? Hmm? The blinds are pretty nice as well. They're like fully shut, but they still let a little bit of light through. I've got these pole blackout blinds. I never see daylight. Definitely a big fan of this. Definitely a big fan. I'm probably going to get this chair for JJ. When your car costs 25K, but your insurance premiums are too high. So you take the wheels off your car, and park it right in front of your desk. And that's what we have here. <laughs> This driving simulation setup is amazing, but in all honesty, it's probably more expensive than an actual car. Don't get me wrong, it's very cool that you have cash to splash, but for most people, 25K, 25, 20, 25,000 pounds, dollars, whatever, it's still 25K. It's just too much to spend on an indoor car that you can't even drive. Either that or that Supreme sticker right there, spent 24K on that, and 1k on the rest. I'm like, I've seen the purses. I'm just not going to comment on that at all. But I feel like they're going to receive some sort of sun damage if the, the sun's shining through the window there and they're always there. I'm just saying. Ah, the brand loyalty is high with this one. This one's a vibe. I'm growing more and more fond of the wooden pine slash oak desk. And this has the same chair that I like from previous setups. Also, I would have never have thought that those nano leaves will look nice in that position on the wall there. I would have never have thought to put them there. So that's a good shout. They illuminate your floor pretty nicely. And I love the way the PC is on display as well. And it's not just like under the desk collecting dust. That monitor placement does seem a bit awkward. Unless you're a really tall human and it's quite comfortable for you, then well done. Well done on sorting that out for yourself. And the view of the city, ah, the combo of the lights and the views, definitely a good vibe. It's something you'd see on those lo-fi music streaming channels. Okay, well, this just gives me Mr. Garrison vibes, you know, from that one South Park episode, season five, episode 11. Yeah, you know, I'll just have this picture up on here. That's all I'm gonna say for that one. Now, this doesn't look like a super expensive setup, but the view looks expensive. A tag, the, the tagline title says for this, as requested by Melbourne City Setup at Night. How's he seeing Eiffel Tower all the way from Melbourne? Hang on, how many Eiffel Towers are there in this world? I need to educate myself about Melbourne. Hang on, one second, guys. Is there an Eiffel, Melbourne's Eiffel Tower. Art Center Melbourne, Art Center. So this guy's in like the center of Melbourne. Of course, this view's expensive. Beautiful view. Well done on your beautiful setup and the beautiful view. Is it weird? I have honestly no clue what kind of person this setup belongs to. A grown man, a woman, a teenager. Very adorable, but I'm not sure how practical it is to have 300 plushies all over your workspace. And once all the lights are off, I'll be very paranoid that they come to life. Look at those weird beady-eyed creatures. Ooh, the ceiling lights on this one is pretty cool, but it looks like another uh, very flammable setup. Definitely no smoking in this room. It would be cool if the lights in the room kind of acted as a mood ring. Nice, calm blue when you're chilling, but an angry shade of red when you realize you've run out of prime. Send me a care package. I've, I, these are the ones that I stole from JJ's house. Just empty bottles. The only thing that concerns me about this setup is the assault rifle mounted on the table. Why is it even there? Very nice vibe. Warm, welcoming. I also like how there's not an abundance of RGB. In fact, there's no RGB in there. I would be interested to see how this would look like at night time. Also, forgive me for sounding repetitive in a couple of videos, but I love a standing desk. Look, I'm, I'm using it right now. I've, I've put it all the way up. Now I can stand up instead of just sit down and feel bored. I can move around my room. I love it. So as perfect as this setup looks to me right now, I don't think I can live with it if, it if the desk wasn't a standing desk. So that has to lose a point in. I can't unsee this now, but he spelled quarantine wrong. It's quarantine. This is quite possibly the ultimate pilot wing setup. What do you even play on this? I had no idea things like this exist. I guess it's all been like custom built. This is definitely the guy you want on the flight when Storm Eunice rolls in. So reading the comments on Reddit, this guy plays 
DSC, Digital Combat Simulation, and Microsoft Flight Simulation. This is actually a definition of a battle station. If you're ever on a flight and your pilot suffers from a heart attack, you best pray that this guy is on the plane with you. Or actually maybe a backup pilot that's also qualified to fly the plane. That could be useful. I'm sure they have systems in place for, <laughs> for situations like that, I'm sure. But if they don't, this guy can help. Full faith in him and his combat simulation skills. There's nothing I like to do more at the end of a long, hard day then sit back and unwind at my setup. Underneath a giant ball filled with millions in cash, whilst my two personal bodyguards make sure that nobody interrupts me during my editing workflow. See, Kirsty didn't really want the big money ball, so we decided to settle it with a game of marbles. As you can clearly see, Kirsty walked away without any marbles. <laughs> this is a sick concept. This is what Mr. Beast's editing team were working around. And there we go, some of the best worst and weirdest setups. I enjoy looking out for things that give me inspiration. It helps me stay creative with some of the things that I might want in my future setups. Also, if you would like to see me make a video reacting to your setups, whether it be good, bad, if you need advice for it, send them through my way. Either send them to me on Twitter or my Reddit. I will create um, like a Reddit category you can submit it under. And yeah, the links will all be in the description. So yeah, thank you for watching, stay tuned for more videos on this channel.